Okay, if this is how to add the original Alice Madness game, first we're gonna, there we go, open up Opera GX and then I'm gonna go to, first we're gonna go to Windows Explorer, open Windows Explorer, go to this PC, I'm gonna find where my Steam is installed, to D, then go to Steam folder, go inside, Steam library, and Steam apps, then common Alice Madness returns. Conf then config Alice game and config folder. Then default engine. Right click, open with Notepad. So and then we got to scroll to the bottom and find G Special PC Edition. G special PC edition. Is that a G special PC edition? Then we're gonna. It should be false. Okay. And then after that, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna change it to true. Then next, scroll up to min smooth frame rate. Scroll to mid. Try to find where that is. Min smooth frame rate. Change that to 21. Right here. Min smooth frame rate. Oops. And then we're gonna end. Gonna change this to 30. And then the max smooth frame rate right here to 60, which is already 60 anyway. So 60. And then now scroll up and do it again to so this is the unreal and then we're gonna change this to 30 30 we're gonna go to unreal eat add that unreal engine main smooth frame rate to 30 then max mode frame rate to 60 so it's already changed make sure that's what that says and then we're gonna scroll down to g special equals g special where is it right here g special edition and then we're gonna then we're gonna go above that to alice one what is it alice one path equals right here we're gonna change it this this whole thing into this there you go <coughs> we're gonna go scroll up the texture group Let's see is texture group where's that at then until you see ambient occlusion equals false ambient occlusion Okay, here it is. Ambient occlusion equals false. Change it to true. Change this false to true. Then make sure it's only one capital letter, okay. So it's R-U-E, not, not capitalize. Uh, the only capital is the T. Everything else is small case. Then as far as the you're gonna hit X and click save let's see minimize this I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this we're gonna start the game for a bit and then close it again the Alice Madness close this after this then we're gonna go to exit to kiss all right after that 
we're gonna get the Yalis game. Okay, we're gonna go to documents this time. Open Windows Explorer, go to documents. And we're gonna go to my games. Is that what it is? Right here. And then Alice Madness returns. Then Alice game. Folder. Config. Folder and open the Alice engine.ini. Alice engine. Right click. Open with notepad. And then we're gonna go to. Find. The go to the bottom again and then. We'll find. The Alice path, I think. Right here, Alice Path. So we're gonna change this Alice Path, Alice One Path into this. Alice path. Into this. Basically, I'm just copying it and pasting it. But that's what it looks like. Basically, it loses one of the the lines here. Original has three the forward slash but now it's just like that so basically when before it was like this see this was the original like that and then I change it into this see there you go so it's shorter so now we're gonna insert the the game into the folder first I'm gonna download it to this link Oops. basically I'll just show you guys the link on, on the description down so you'll know where to so you can find this right here this is it's on the steam discussions for that so you know I, I got it from the steam basically where to find the link and then okay go ahead and X this and click save. I forgot to do that. That's the Alice engine that we change. Then we're gonna go to the previous folder. Let's go click Alice game, Alice Madness, in my games. We're gonna try out the. I think it's finished. Okay, so this is where I. This is the folder I downloaded from that link. Oops. Then let's see what's inside this. Okay, that's the Alice one. Okay, we're gonna right click, extract here. Okay, so you can keep this folder and save it somewhere, but I'm just gonna delete it. If you wanna keep it, you can keep it. So this is the one I extracted, the Alice one. What we're gonna do is Place this folder in the Alice Madness Returns folder. And that should be it. Right click, open File Explorer, and then we're gonna go to D. Let's see. Steam. Steam Apps, Common. As madness returns and then this one see I already put it in here so basically you just put this and then drag this into the to the Alice madness returns see basically it I went inside the Alice madness returns and I just drag this in here and then that's it go ahead and delete this don't need that anymore because I already placed it in here. So now we're gonna try the new Alice Madness. Close this, then minimize this, or you can close it. I'm gonna go ahead and try the game again. That should be it. That's how you place the original Alice Madness game to the Alice Madness Returns. Go ahead and test it.
Or you can just find the original Alice and play that one. But this will put the game in the the menu of the Alice Madness Returns. <coughs> so basically you just enter Enter Okay, so now we got it. See there it is right there. So that's right here. That's the game play market. That's the original Alice. Then just choose it. It should start it. Yada yada. See there you go. You can change the window. Let's see, let's change the There you go. Alright. Oh wait, can you maximize this? How do you maximize the Change the stuff, full screen. Aspect ratio, though. I'm gonna correct it later. Let's go to medium. Weird, the uh, screen is acting weird. Oh, I know why. I got two of them. Close that and then I'll just... No wonder. Okay. Alright. There we go. I'm using the gamepad. So this is the original Alice game, the first one, because the Alice Madness Returns is the sequel, so this one is the original. Our land is destroyed, our spirit crushed. Reminds me of the asylum. Is there no joy here? I do it. Alright. Later. It's pretty easy. Just 